sharing, annotating. Okay. Start? Yep. Okay. And far away islands of Solomon Sound, you're the turtle was king of the pond. A nice little pond. It was clean. It was neat. The water was warm. There was plenty to eat. The turtles have everything turtles may need. And they were all happy, quite happy indeed. They were until your the king of them all decided the kingdom he ruled was too small. A ruler said Yurdo, of all that I see, but I don't see enough. That's the trouble with me. With this stone for a throne, I look down on my pond, but I cannot look down on the places beyond. This throne that I sit on is too, too low down. It ought to be higher, he said with a frown. If I, I could sit high, how much greater I'd be. But a king, I'd be ruler of all that I see. So Yertle the turtle king lifted his hand, and Yertle the turtle king gave a command. He ordered nine turtles to swim to his stone, and using these turtles, he built a new throne. New throne. He made each turtle stand on another one's back, and he piled them all up in nine turtles' back. And then Yertel climbed up. He sat down on the pile. What a wonderful view he could see most a mile. Oh my, Yertel cried. Oh, the things I now rule. I'm king of a cow. I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house. And what's more, beyond that, I'm king of a blueberry bush and a cat. I'm Yertle the turtle. Oh, marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. And all through the morning, he sat up there high, saying over and over, A great king am I, until long about noon. Then he heard a faint sigh. What's that? snapped the king, and he looked down the stack. And he saw at the bottom a turtle named Mac, just a part of his throne. And this plain little turtle looked up and he said, Beg your pardon, King Yurter. I've pains in my back and my shoulders and knees. How long must we how long must we stand here, your majesty, please? Silence, the king of turtles barked back. I'm king and you're only a turtle named Mac. You stay in your place while I sit here and rule. I'm king of a cow, and I'm king of a mule. I'm king of a house, and a bush, and a cat. But that isn't all. I'll do better than that. My throne shall be higher, higher. His royal voice thundered. So pile up more turtles, I want about two hundred. Turtles, more turtles, he bellowed and brayed. And the turtles way down in the pond were afraid. They trembled, they shook, but they came, they obeyed. From all over the pond they came swimming by dozens. Four families of turtles with uncles and cousins, and all of them stepped on the head of poor Mac. One after another they climbed up the stack. Then Yerter the turtle was perched up so high he could see forty miles from his throne in the sky. Hooray! shouted Yerter, I'm king of the trees, I'm king of the birds, and I'm king of the bees. I'm king of the butterflies, king of the air. Ah, me, what a throne. What a wonderful chair. I'm Yerter the turtle, or, oh marvelous me, for I am the ruler of all that I see. Then again, from below in the great heavy stack, came a groan from that plain little turtle named Meg. Your majesty, please. I don't like to complain, but down here below we are feeling great pain. I know up on top you are singing great sights, but down at the bottom we too shoot them right. We turtles can stand it. 
Our shares will crack. Besides, we need food. We are starving, groaned the Mac. You hush up your mouth, howled the mighty King Yaru. We have we've no right to talk to the world's highest turtle. I rule from the clouds over land over sea. There's nothing, no nothing that's tired than me. But while he was shouting, he showed what, with surprise that the moon of the evening was starting to rise up over his head in the darkening skies. Was that snort, snorted yellow? Say, what is the thing that dares to be higher than your that king? I share, I shall not allow it. I will go higher still. I will build, build my throne higher. I can and, and I will. I will call some more totters. I will stack it to heaven. I need about 5,607. But as Yoro the Toro king lifted his hand and started to order and give the command, the plain little Toro below in the stack, the plain little Toro whose name was the smack, decided his, he had taken enough, and he had. And the plain little lad got a little bit mad, and the plain little Mac did a plain little thing. He burped, and his burp shook the throne of the king. And Yaro the Toro, the king of the trees, the king of the air and the birds and the bees, the king of the house and the cow and the mole, well, that was the end of the Toro king's rule. For Yoro, the king of the Salmon sword, fell off his <clears throat> high throne and fell plunk in the pond. Today, the great Yoro that murders he, is king of the mud that is all he can see. And the Taurus, of course, or the Taurus are free, as Taurus and maybe or creature should be. Oh, very good, guys. Very good. Conceit. Very nice work.